Hi everybody, my name is Nir Nitsani. I'm from the product marketing team at NVIDIA. Today I want to show you what we were demoing at IBC this year. So we are starting with the infrastructure. So we have here our Dell server with A6000 GPU. We have our DPU Bluefield 2 running inside on a Windows workstation. Okay, so this workstation is actually using this display. We have all our transmitting on this side. In the middle, of course, we have a full-blown switch with a Grandmaster from Telestream to provide us the accurate timing that is needed for the 2110. And this box is our AGX Clara box from NVIDIA. It's running eight ARM cores from uh, Xavier, the RTX 6000 and Connectix 6 to be our receiver and to display things on the monitor. Okay, so what we are showing you here is to try to how to, we can simplify the adaptation of 2110. One thing is to take Adobe Premiere and instead of sending the monitor view to a real monitor, we are sending it over the network. So we are using the Drastic plugin, okay, in order to select it in the playback. This is a Flowcaster from Drastic. They build a plugin for 7210 that belongs to Adobe. Okay, once we play that, this stream will go into this display. This display is running right now 1. gig. It's 1080p, 24 FPS per second on the display. So this kind of motion, do editing of 2110, you can do it also with the Avi, Da Vinci, and Flame, an example. The other part is how to extend your display to 2110. So we are using Rivermax display. Rivermax display will extend your display. So if I will go here to device manager, you will see that we have actually two display. One of them is the A6000, and the A6000 is what I showed you before. But we also have the NVIDIA Rivermax ST2110. This is like emulated display, virtualized display that we built, okay? And now, if I will do identify, so this is display one, and this is display two. I'll click it again, you see? So now this is a virtualized display. This extension display is now sent over the network. There is no connection between, there is no DPI cable or HDMI cable connected from this machine. I can go and drag this display, and you see then this is over the network. And if you connect all of this, this is a Windows machine. We don't have a PTP native solution on Windows. So what we were doing, we took our Docker Firefly service running on the DPU in order to generate accurate timing. This Docker service is running in Linux. That means we can take PTP for a Linux open source PTP, and we are running it. While we are running it, we can see all the parameters of the PTP, which Grandmaster we are connected, the master offset like in nanoseconds accuracy, and it does provide the application a very accurate timing. Rivermax utilized this API and reading this PTP information in order to, to send all the stream according to the SMPT spec. But this is one thing. We are also thinking how to take AI to production. So in another machine that we have here, you can see that we have another input stream. This is the same input stream that we sent before, but we also have rectangles on this on the players. In this case, we are running our DeepStream SDK, and the DeepStream SDK takes the input stream of 2.6 gig, the live stream, and does this AI on top of it. So in short, we are trying to see how we can take 702110, provide editor suite, provide extension, to really simplify our solution, and also have an AI on top of that. Thank you very much for watching.